now be joined by number 13 ranked UFC light heavyweight Ryan Spann, and we'll take our first set of questions from Gabriel Gonzalez with Kate Side Press. Hey Ryan, how are you? What's going on? I'm good, man. Um, so obviously, the last fight, man, that was such a wild one for as long as it lasted. I was wondering just when you got done with that one and you went back to the gym, what did you take most from that fight and what you would have done differently? Uh, not go to sleep in the middle of it. That would have helped a lot. Yeah, picked up from that. I can definitely understand that. <laughs> um, you know, in terms of working with your coaches, just, you know, when you had when you had so many good moments in there, I guess just do you feel like there was a lot you had to work on on a technical level, or was it more mental work that you were doing when you went back to the gym? Uh, well, when I went back, we focused more on getting my cardio back in uh, shape. Uh, we had some things to deal with outside, so it was a lot of mental work too. But we work on all the aspects as far as physical, skill and uh and mental but uh i know we did put a heavy emphasis on our cardio and, and building with uh mike skacia my strength and conditioning coach that is through studio performance and then just my final question just could i get your thoughts on misha as an opponent and what he brings to the table no clue man i don't want to hey thank you and good luck We'll take our next set of questions from Gavin Porter with UFC.com. All right, so I know it's been a long journey since this fight, and I know you wanted to get right back in after your son. How happy are you to finally fight me and to finally get in, get in there and kind of right that wrong? I'm super excited about getting back in there and doing it again. Especially with uh, with this one, you know, we've scheduled Misha before and had some things happen where it fell through and a couple of times where it wasn't accepted like a while ago. And he went and uh, he was cornering Johnny. So it was a sweet little deal to get him for, for this one. He mentioned on this call earlier more of the cool five matchup versus, you know, some of the other lopsided ones. You are the two of the more well-rounded guys in the top 15. Um, you're in the coming event spot on this fight. Would you think that this is a big fight, an important fight of the light heavyweight? Oh, for sure. Uh, right now, we still got, like, uh, no offense to the guys that's up there. Like, Misha's been around a long time, too, but that kind of speaks to his well-roundedness. He's been able to stay relevant for so long, as long as he's been here and been able to do what he do. And he's still a problem. Uh, but... Like, this is, you know, younger guys coming in, and we're making a name for ourselves. And us being, I think, the only, I don't know the card, but I think we're the only 205ers on the card. And in the co-main event spot, like, we, we get to start building that glamour back into the division. You know, since kind of John left, there's, there's the, the old heads that's kind of been lurking in the top five and, and whatnot, starting to take over and, you know, take shots at the belt. But the younger guys are going to come and take over and do what we do. I wanted to ask you, you know, when you have a performance that last time, you know, it was like you know, that, that was so crazy. What is the, what's the goal in terms of walking away from the Octagon crowd this Saturday? What are, what kind of performance do you think about? Uh, one, I need to mind my manners and not get into, a, as John would say, a bar fight. And, um, just be me, have fun. I, I kind of lost it in trying to trying to land that shot. I got kind of caught up in my own sauce, man. I was like, oh, man, I'm going to knock this guy out. I can knock this guy out, man. And then I look back, uh, one of my one of my coaches from Memphis here, uh, Brian Hall, He, uh, we was talking on the phone one day, and I told him, I was like, you know, what was I thinking? I was like, I'm sitting here trying to knock everybody out, but when you look at my record, I only got like four knockouts. Like, what am I trying to do? So I kind of had to go back and readjust my mentality towards things, and I'm just going to go back to being the next slickster, doing what I do. My last question for you, man. Simply put, when you walk into this fight, and you walk, you're finally getting into there after all the cancellations after the last deal. Is it just going to be a relief to just get to the octagon and, and just focus on what you want to do, just put, a, put all the noise out of your head and all that? Uh, honestly, I think about that a lot, and I don't think that relief comes until this happened right here. And that's... That's what that's what I'm I'm getting at right now. 
like that's when the relief comes. That's when I can take a deep breath and relax and come back and eat chips. Hot chips. Hot chips. <laughs> all right, man. Good luck with you all. That's all we have for you today, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you.